we're talking about the greatest person that ever came into the world, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Another wonderful title for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is that Jesus Christ is friend. At the Last Supper he said to the Apostles, I call you friends because you know what the Master is about. Those who are listening to me, never forget this that Jesus Christ indeed is your friend. He's a friend that will always be faithful. Other friends will fail us. We will fail our friends. We are very fragile, weak, and we're sinners. But Jesus Christ is the faithful friend. What are ways in which we can enter into friendship with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. First of all, in all friendships, we should strive to avoid anything that could damage our friendship. We want to avoid hurting our friend. So first, we want to try to avoid sin. Archbishop Fulton Sheen says, sin is hurting the one you love. Venial sin, it wounds our friendship with Jesus Christ. Mortal sin actually severs our friendship with Jesus Christ. So this should be our first step, to do all we possibly can to avoid wounding Jesus Christ, especially through mortal sin because mortal sin severs our friendship with Jesus Christ. Jesus says in the Gospel of John, John 15, I am the vine and you are the branches. The branches cut off from the vine will wither and die. What Jesus is talking about, the branch severed from the vine is a symbol of mortal sin. This should be our prayer. Lord, give me the grace to be faithful to you, to avoid all sin, be it venial, but especially mortal. And if I have sinned, Jesus is always ready there to receive me again. He's a merciful God. Nothing greater in this world, my friends, than to establish a deep, growing, lasting friendship with Jesus Christ. And if Jesus Christ is your best friend in this life, he'll be your best friend for all eternity. May God bless you.